of course, Huawei, to varying degrees, is available in almost every country, right? I mean, you know, like India is is sort of unique in terms of keeping Huawei out of the networks. Uh, Huawei phones are only now less than 2% of new phone sales in India. But if you go to like, you know, Nigeria or many African countries, you go to uh, most, you know, Southeast Asian countries, uh, Latin America, like Huawei is everywhere. It's in the phones and it's uh, increasingly in the uh, the cellular networks or internet networks. So this seems crazy, uh, but explain why countries are making this deal to allow Huawei in. Because surely like the intelligence agencies in even smaller countries understand at some level that this is like letting the devil in. Okay. So, well, the thing is that, you know, uh, majority of the countries, uh, as you mentioned, uh, like majority of the developing countries are letting Huawei in and letting their operations uh, run 24-7. The thing is that Huawei is actually, uh, as compare, if we compare Huawei to the other 5G uh, network probable companies, you'll see that Huawei is actually doing all of the work in a fraction of cost. What the other, you know, uh, companies are providing because Huawei is quite big and it is a company that can actually uh, afford uh, uh, providing, uh, you know, 5G services at a fraction of cost what the other uh, possible companies are providing. So I think that is one of the main reasons why uh, some of the developing uh, countries are not going for, uh, I would say, uh, more expensive uh, uh, options over there because probably that is one of their disadvantages and uh, strong economies, uh, upcoming economies are, uh, you know, uh, all are in one stand to actually ban Huawei and because they know they can actually understand the long-term uh, risks associated with that particular thing. Yeah, I guess if you're like, you know, Uruguay or some like, you know, developing country, you just don't have the resources. Like, of course, you're going to get the, the slightly cheaper thing because you you can't afford anything else. Right. That is one of the main reasons that is there. One of the other reasons I also think that, you know, when the U.S. actually banned uh, Huawei, so we could actually see each and every U.S. ally uh, doing the same thing, you know, after the U.S., many other countries uh, like U.K., India, all of them uh, getting in line to actually do the same particular thing that was there. So, yes, I would say a little bit of politics is also involved, but definitely the major reason over here is a security concern. Well, this is what's scary about the Belt and Road Initiative, because th that's China's trillion dollar, multi-trillion dollar investment plan around the world. And what the Chinese Communist Party is doing is they're basically bringing all of these developing countries into a sphere of influence of the Chinese Communist Party because with the Belt and Road investment always comes Huawei. It would obviously also come with all of these Chinese apps. So basically they are, they are just eating up these other countries, not just with the investment and the debt that comes with that, but also all of their future digital infrastructure will forever be a part of this enormous beast that China has created. Absolutely right. You can, you know, uh, one such example that is in front of us right now is uh, Sri Lanka also, that was in huge Chinese depths. And now the country's, you know, just on, uh, it, 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 the economy has collapsed. They have no way of paying back those huge sums to China as well. So yes, uh, China has a very smart way of actually, uh, you know, pressurizing the other small, smaller nations that are there. And in countries like this, when like people start to rebel and the government starts to do an authoritarian crackdown. You mean like Sri Lanka? Like, like Sri Lanka. If, uh, you know, all of the people have Huawei phones or have Chinese apps, that is data that China can easily give to an authoritarian leader to help them crack down on dissent. Yes, that is right. And, uh, you know, as uh, Matt also earlier mentioned that uh, majority of the countries are still having Huawei with them. And that is actually working great for China. 